Alright, yo, this is Josh, also known as Yashu, for a very special edition of like the TOI Talks like platform. Like it could be like the lens of Yashu too and all that, but yeah, you know, like definitely check this out too. I actually have a dope artist with me right now. We have uh, Kaz in the building, an artist from Timmins, Ontario. How are you doing? You know? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. You know, like I've been like tapping with like a lot of the stuff too with the music. It's been pretty dope in there, you know? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to be here. Uh, that's a flex. That's a flex. You know, and like the one, I definitely like want to start it off a little, a little bit too. Like, so you actually grew up in like Wawa and in Tim, isn't it? so like tell me more about that. Yeah, I grew up in Wawa, Ontario. It's kind of like a small town to be honest. Pearson Airport is probably like the size of Wawa, in all honesty. So yeah, it's just kind of like bush life, you know. Timmins is a little different. Timmins keeps changing every every year. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like in the middle of like nowhere too because you have like what like T Bay, you have like Sudbury and all that too. So uh, T Bay is far from Timmins, <laughs> honestly. Like I think North Bay and Sudbury, that's like four hours away, but those are like the closest ones to Alright, and yeah. yeah, how did you like really like tap in with like music and all that too? I've been writing poetry since I was about thirteen. So that well no, since about nine and then I started rapping when I was thirteen. Okay, okay. Yeah. And as far as like, you know, like artists like you were like listening to, like who were they and like even like influences? Um definitely like Tupac and Eminem were like the OGs because my brothers used to listen to them a lot. And then um as I grew up I kinda started like listening more to like dance hall when I like turned like seventeen around okay. that area. Okay, like Vibes Cartel, like Adonia, like Mavado and all that? Um, at first it was more like Alkaline, Movado, them things. Now it's more like Intense, Multi Killer. All right, skate. all right. <laughs> like, more like a okay, dark okay, life. that's a flex. So, yeah, I got like a little like thing for you that we're gonna like do for a bit too. So, it's kind of like you know like which one like is like better for a bit too. So, Eight Mile or All Eyes on Me. I haven't watched the new eyes on me, to be honest. It's crazy because Tupac's like one of my number ones, but I'm just like, I don't want it to kill it for me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, okay. But I do gotta watch it just to see, but I've heard of, like, I don't know. Okay. Some people have said some things to me, so I'm like, okay. Shall I watch it? What's your opinion on it? Did you like it? <laughs> um, It kind of fell like flat for a bit too. Eight Mile's still gonna be like a classic either way too, because iconic lines like you know his real name's clarence and you know yeah. like the, the, cheddar, tra the trailer rap yeah too. The, the cheddar bob gun scene too like that's like a crazy vibe too um all right uh uh vibes cartel world boss or mavado you know Vibe. um i would say i listen to more mavado to be honest like vibes is still vibes is vibes obviously you know like he has his own thing going, but i listen to more mavado how do you feel about like the new vibes right now it's crazy. I'm sure he he's feeling blessed. To be ah. honest, to be out, you know. Okay, like, okay. Freedom is a must. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Bounty killer or beanie man? Bounty killer. Uh, okay, okay. That's a flex yeah. too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not nice. But beanie man, you can't like beanie man has his place too. Ah, uh, girl, girls, them sugar and all that, you know. Yeah. Nah, she you know and. But bounty, a real one for real. So. Okay, okay, and as far as like who you want to like work with like musically someday would you say that those are like the artists too or yeah i would definitely love to work with bounty killer for real bounty killer all right maybe someday soon <laughs> i definitely see you with like style og skang for a bit too style uh, og huh? is sick <laughs> yeah i uh, listen to enough style og uh, true. Like some spice too for a bit jada kingdom you know so yeah uh, I, I love them but jada i can't sing like jada I, like I would love to do a track with somebody like that, but it's just learning how to mix both vibes, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, enough flex, you know? Um, as far as like, you know, because like you drop like more singles than like an album and all that too, so you're more like inclined to do that someday? Yeah, I'd like to drop an album project when I'm more developed with my, with my career. But for now, I just want to do like focus on singles and stuff, so I could like really like promote them, you know. Okay, okay, and like I know like you have like a lot of like stuff too, but like you have like more of a recent one too. I think uh, Bunny Boy, so and it's like more like dancehall, like bass and all that too. So yeah, Bunny Boy was like my first. Well, Faking kind of has a bit of a dancehall twist to it, but yeah, Bunny Boy was definitely like my first fusion kind of dancehall trap kind of rap vibes, you know. Okay, okay, okay. And you know, we're just gonna like switch it like up for a bit too, you know, like kinda get more into like the nitty gritty for a bit too. So 
Yo, how do you uh, feel about like Canada right now? Like, do you feel like Canada's like in this like good state right now, or for music? I wouldn't just say like for music, just like for everything, like way of life, like living and all that. Um, I would say Canada's a little fucked up when it comes down to our, I mean, our system when it comes down to like drugs and things. Like, I mean, that's like another, another subject, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's like some like spicy topics for a bit too, like just like even though with like other artists and like other stuff like that too. Like I know like Tinashi. Uh, recently, she's been talking about like her standards and all that too. You know, so basically, on how she like wants like her standards for a guy and all that, six feet, not broke. You know, okay. like I didn't see that. Uh, true. Uh, I'll probably show it to you like later on too. But like, do you have any like kind of like standards uh, for someone like in terms of dating and all that? Yeah, I mean you have to have standards because if not, you're just dating anybody and like, like, like that's not that's not good. I okay. need to have some standards, you know? Okay. But, yeah. Okay. I feel like everybody should have standards. Okay, okay. But, like, no, nothing, like, too, like, egregious? No, not like, oh, not like how I feel like a lot of these girls are like, oh, you gotta be a millionaire, you gotta buy me, like, $5,000 bags. Like, you don't gotta do that, but you at least gotta contribute your part. You gotta act like a man. Like, oh, okay, okay. You know? So yo, um, do you think uh, guys should uh, pay for the first date too, or like whenever like they get the bill and all that too? So for the first date, um, I think so. To be honest, like if you're taking a woman out, you're trying to prove that like you know you're you're a man, you're masculine. Like okay. you know, I mean, you don't gotta take her out to like no super expensive restaurant, but like going to East Sides or something. If you can't afford like a thirty dollar bill to take out a girl, that like. You know, obviously you've been getting to know and talk to and stuff like. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I guess it's like just kind of like the standards too, because like you have like the roof, Chris, like standard of like taking someone out versus like the keg and like Montana's and all that too. So you can even do an at like I mean not really an at home date, but like you can do like an improv date that's not okay. gonna cost you a whole lot. Like you know, like even um, you guys used to have taste of Danforth and stuff like you know stuff like that. That's not too expensive to bring somebody out. I think it's what like ten dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. and then you get like a fun little date out of it. You get to try things. You okay, know? okay. And as far as like you know like fits and stuff like that too, you know just like for like guys and all that. Like, do you think like he should have like some swag to like what he wears and all that? Or? Listen, I. I was actually talking about my girl with this the other day. So I feel like a lot of men think you gotta be like super dripped out and designer and all that. Like you do not need to do that. That shit looks so funny when I see a man in full out Gucci suit. Like you can have some designer pieces if you want, but honestly, like just having like a fresh black tee with some jeans or some nice joggers, they don't even gotta be brand joggers. They okay. just gotta be clean. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like that, like that'll do a lot. But the Nike texts are still nice. Nike texts, Nike texts, yeah. Like, a fresh jumpsuit. Suit is definitely is nice, but you don't gotta be you don't gotta be spending so much money and trying to do the most because it ju it's just like when these girls be dry, trying to do too much, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Like I don't know how guys feel, but like how do you feel about that when a girl uh, like like you can tell she be just doing a lot? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie because like you have like some shorties that be wearing like shine and all that too. They be like they'll wear like fashion over too. So like imagine like pulling up in like 700 like one like stack like fit and all that too. From the shoes to like the bottom of and like they're wearing like shine or fashion over too. So it's like trying to figure out like how to like compress and all that too, like how to like balance like the stem too. Like yeah, like I could have like a whole fit from Sheen on and then have some designer sunglasses on. That's okay. Like it's just it's mild. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Yeah, true. But like, what's like some sort of like swag you won't like go for? Like, you won't go for like the white college boy like swag and all that, or like if, if it's like the bummy like Air Jordan stuff like that too. Air Jordans is bummy. No, no. I mean, like if they have like the creases and all that, you know. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Like if the shoes ain't fresh, that's a big thing too. Honestly, okay. like if a guy's shoes not fresh, but you don't have to have like Air Jordans. But I mean, Jordans are not that, like, I mean, I guess guy's shoes are more expensive still. But like Air Max, you can do Air Max for $150. Okay. Or you can even buy the fake ones for $50. And it doesn't matter. A lot of people think, oh, you have to have, like, people are so, like, like, they're so stuck on, oh, it's got to be authentic. But it's not gold or diamonds. So to me, it's like, if you get the $50 pair that looks exactly like the $150 pair, you're waiting. Okay. 
Yeah. You use the next hundred dollar, bring your girl on a date. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, factuality. It's not I'm not so. gonna lie too. I mean, like you'll have like some people too that will wear like the agrochius like fits and all that too. Like um, there's like people wearing like the whole like hot Cheeto like fit from like there's like a Toronto rapper that's that actually hot like Cheeto fit. Hot Cheeto fit, like the whole like Cheetos like, like a snack. <laughs> pretty much, you know, either way, you know. But um I also wanna like talk about the whole like nail, nail salon thing too. So how did you like run your own like nail salon thing? Uh oh you did your homework stuff. So. Um nails, I started doing nails when I was in high school. Honestly, I just like I'm artsy, right? So I just started wanting like I was going to these chop shops and getting my nails done and it was not it. So I was like, okay, let me try to do my own nails, you know. So I bought like a little kit from shoppers and started doing that. And then I was waiting for the bus one day after school literally and I was doing like my grade 13 because I was I moved a lot so I didn't oh, get to get oh, my credits okay. done so um yeah I was finishing my high school and I saw that the college was offering a course on nails and they let me take it because I was already supposed to be graduated so okay yeah. no worries. and like you know like usually for like nails too like how much should like one person pay for like a good like fit of like nails and all that it depends on your service to be honest like if, if your nail tech is good and she's providing you with a good quality service like clean salon like she's really taking care of you with the hospitality like has a beverage there for you you know something some netflix for you to watch while you're getting your nails done and stuff like okay, that okay. like definitely over a hundred dollars because with inflation now like i know nail like a lot of the costs of products have gone up and it's not like lashes where it's like the cost to do them is like it's a low cost like the startup cost to do nails is like crazy expensive so anybody like contemplating doing nails make sure you love that shit okay yeah and like always like tip like the nail tech and all that right yeah anybody <laughs> in service if they're giving you a good service definitely tip them but if they're being stink to you and just acting like they want your money don't true true yeah. all right um also gonna like reroute for a bit too so yeah i'm gonna play like this like game called like all right like 21 questions up for a bit or like not even like 21 questions we could like do that in the shortened version too so and it's just gonna be like random stuff and all that too so okay. first uh fist fight say it again first fist fight or like first like fight and all that first fist fight grade nine i think that's the first real fist fight anyways okay yeah. I'm guessing like the shorty was like ta acting like too like breezy and all that too. Nah, my best friend fucked my crush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> choo choo. Yeah. Yo, uh, first. So yeah, Monday at school after the weekend it was on. We were seeing each other in the hallway. Choo choo. Like, yo. All right. Um, your first kiss. First kiss. I think I was. 11 it was a truth or dare actually it was awkward as fuck like he was taking too long and then i was talking and then he like kissed my teeth so, yeah <laughs> nah, that's crazy yeah couldn't even make it third base you know so yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right um your first paycheck <laughs> first paycheck my dad put me to work young my dad um had this hotel and yeah he had me doing chambermaid and front desk so Okay, okay. I don't remember how much it was. Probably like $200, oh, okay. but... Good flex, yeah. good flex. All right, and um, how about this uh, first uh, celebrity crush, you know? Celebrity crush? Probably Eminem or 50 Eminem? Cent. I had them both on my walls. You know when you used to get those J14 magazines and they have like the fold-out posters? Choo -choo. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So like if we're doing like FMK and all that, like with Eminem, 50, and like Dre, like how would you like define that? Yeah. Mm. If a Drake can help me make a lot of money, all of them can help me make a lot of money, to be honest. And they all seem solid. Yeah, that's a tricky one. <laughs> um, okay. Probably fuck 50 because he's a cancer and okay. cancers and Scorpios go okay, together. Okay. Marry Drake because Drake seems like he's very loyal. And then I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill him, but I mean. I mean, he could get a shoulder shot, but yeah, we can't kill him now. We can't kill him. Okay, okay. But. Okay, um, first concert. First concert, Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill. Okay, in Toronto, right? No, actually, it's a lie. My first concert was Aerosmith. Aerosmith? Yeah. All right, going way too deep. I, I know they had a tour a while back, but I think they like canceled or something like that. I was 18. Ah, true. Yeah, with my mom. It was, it was nice. 
Okay, okay. Um, what else? Uh, first uh, drink, like, you know, like first time like drinking like liquor. Uh, amaretto is disgusting. I stole a bottle of my, pam- <laughs> and I my parents' liquor's cabinet and we went and snuck and we was drinking it behind the Max Mart. Fuck. Okay, okay. Yeah, that shit was nasty. Uh, I didn't even like liquor, but you know, you just be trying to force yourself to drink that shit when you was a kid. Okay, okay. And I think uh, just to kind of take it back to like, you know, with said questions too. So, how'd you get like into like modeling and like fashion? It's funny when people say that. I'm like, am I a model now? Like, I don't really, I don't know. I just started taking pictures and it kind of goes in hand in hand with the rap and stuff, right? Like, Nowadays, it's like you can't just be doing music. You have to be having content and stuff and posting. Okay. So that's kind of how that came into a belt. And with like the whole Crux and Castles things, like I was already messing with their brand and then I just reached out to them because I was just like, you know, I'm already wearing your shit. Like, sponsor me okay. or, you know, let's do some okay. brand ambassador. Okay. And I guess like you've done like, you know, like photo shoots with them like back then, right? Yeah, I've done a couple of shoots and collabs with Crux and Castles. Okay, now. okay. Yeah. It yeah, yeah, because I know like they've been like holding it down since like the 2010s and all that too. Like I remember they used to have like the whole like, finger gun type thing. So yeah, they still have that part of the logo. <laughs> they just have like multiple logos now. Okay, okay, yeah. that's cool. And um, what would you, so like with like modeling and like rapping and all that too? Like, how do you confide that like in the two sometimes? What do you mean confide? Like just like blend them like together in a way. I mean, like I said, you need to do content, right? So I just try to make sure like the stuff that I'm doing with the modeling is cohesive with my cause brand. Okay, okay. Like, you know? And yeah. you know, I, I want to like end it off like you know before we do like to the next set of content too. So yo, what do you have going on next? You know? Um, I got some collabs going on. I got some features with a Jamaican artist right now. Obviously, we got this interview whipping up and. It's an interview or a podcast? Oh, usually, like, if I'm doing it, like, right here, it's, like, it's more a like, like a Pinterview type it's thing. Just won't have the audio on Spotify, you know, like, on the YouTube channel. But. True, true, true. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Okay. And, yo, I mean, this is Josh, also known as Yashu, on another set of, like, TOI Talks slash The Lens of Yashu, so... Definitely get this like on all platforms too, like YouTube and like IG and whatnot and all that. Check it out on Facebook as well too. We're just gonna dab into like the next content next too, so definitely stay tuned.